Hi guys, so I'm back with another video. So this one's slightly different to what um, I've been posting. Uh, so I've been getting these Maker Crate boxes from KiwiCo. Um, so the box that I've got here is the Maker Crate. Actually, the they do different boxes. This particular subscription is called Maker Crate, so where you're making things like anything creative and these boxes are for ages 14 to 100 basically so they do they do um different they do different boxes for different age groups so if you've got like a toddler they do toddler boxes and they do like science related making stuff all types of boxes so if you're interested in um, boxes for your family or even for yourself you can go to the website and check it out this video is not sponsored by the way or, or in no way in connection with kiwi crate this is just me paying for the subscription because i wanted to try new things and just see what it's all about and um yeah this is this so this is the i think this is i think this was my first box actually that i got from them um quite a while ago i've got four boxes so which i'll do unboxing videos for them so in this video i'm going to un like unbox it like go through the box explain the process of how you do it and then later on down the line i'll do an actual video of me doing a paper pulp painting i thought if i tried to do both in one video i think the video would be too long so i thought i'd split it into like two videos um so but the video won't be like straight after this video it will be at some point so if you see like me posting something else um it's i haven't forgotten basically about doing the video for the paper pulp paintings so in the box you get um this booklet which has all the information you need about your box so and also i didn't know that i was getting a paint that so like when i got the box it's like a surprise as to what's in there so you're like oh what am i going to get what am i going to be able to, to try out so on the first page you've got um, the mat um your materials you go to makercrate.com for slash paper pulp and there's a video with full instructions on how to go through it i've actually watched the video and i've taken some screenshots for my own reference but i'll share them on here so it shows more of the process on how you do it because you don't actually have to get one of these boxes to be able to do to try this out you can just buy all the materials yourself and and give it a go um so these are like pictures to get you inspired so you can do different things with the paper pulp basically make you can make a hanging picture bunting so they've got a bit of history about paper and how it's made so yeah just a little short booklet on that um so like when you get this but when i got the box and i saw the um booklet i was thinking oh so how do i do all this like i was confused but you so you definitely have to go and watch the video to be able to do it um so there's a little quote on here great things are not done by impulse but by a series of small things brought together vincent van gogh so in the box you will get all the materials that you need so you get two jars and um so all the all the, it will all be revealed when I show you the process of how this is done and what these materials are for. So you get two jars, which is quite good because you need a jar. So if you're doing a paper pulp painting, you need one jar for each color. So you can do like two colors with that. And then you've got two of these, which again, you use these for the paper pulp. So you'd put two different colors in here. So you've got, f and you can, you've got an opportunity to make a paper pulp painting um, with four colours mixed up at the same time. You could always, you know, use a colour and then refill it if you need more colours, but it gives you an opportunity to get a good few colours mixed up to begin with. Um, this is your paper pulp painting sheets, which you're gonna use to actually make the painting. And then your, so this is like a cookie cutter, but it's used as kind of like a mould, like a shape to make a shape with. You'll see more about that as well when I explain the process. And then you've got the matte medium. 
brush i think um the materials are also like if you want to make um the other things that are in the booklet so it's got and it's got the string uh after i don't know is the brush i think the brush i'm not sure what the brush is for i didn't see that in the video but i think probably maybe to paint on so these are called mess sheets so you'll lay this out i'll show you the how it i've got a screenshot of how it's all supposed to be laid out so you've got two mess sheets one's for when you while you're to use to catch all the mess basically so you'll use one while you're actually doing the painting and then you'll need um another one for when you're going to be drying the painting um so that you've got a, like a clean one to use to hand then you've got um these are paper as well that you need sheets that you need to let to, to use for the actual painting that be revealed right so this is your tray which is going to catch all the water that's going to be used and this is the screen it's like got mesh it's got like a mesh screen and then you get um, a piece of mesh so you get like all the materials you need to, to like get started like you, I think in addition to this you just need scissors and a spoon but other than that everything's ready to go this is foam and um, so you can use this to cut shapes out and then use it as like put them down and then you can use them to, to paint around them so then you're left with like say like a circle or a triangle shape and then you can fill in the circle or triangle shape and then we've got these are a part of the setup for when you're doing the painting which I'll show you these are I think this is um, this is for the framing so this and the string that I had I can't, where did I put that yeah so this and the string is for framing your piece so you see so but you can obviously buy you can obviously buy more of these so say if you do create them I'm sure you can get these like off Amazon um, like clip frames so you just clip the bottom and the top of the frame and couch sheets so that you get a lot of stuff in there you know you get you definitely get your money's worth because these subscription boxes are not cheap so you can get one you know I think you can get one like every quarter I think there's an option that you don't have to do, you don't have to get one like every month I don't think I mean all the way all the information's on the website kiwico.com I think it is because it's um international as well so it's not these this is just not for the UK this is like international as well so they do the US Australia um all different they cater to all different countries so anyone can get these and then I think you can get a discount so I'm going to link everything below and hopefully be able to link like a discount below as well a discount code below I'll have a look but yeah just check my description box for a link to the Kiwi Kate website and the description boxes and I'll put any information if I can get any discount also I will link the video that I'm going to show you the screenshots from which shows you the whole process and then you'll get a very good picture because I thought when I looked at this I thought oh this looks a bit complicated because like all of this all of these materials you know I was thinking oh look, this looks all a lot <laughs> but when you actually watch the video it's like oh is that it you know it's a simple process so all right I'm just going to pop these back in here and then I'm going to get my iPad where I've got my screenshots on so we can go through the screenshots and we can see the actual process of doing this um, which then hopefully will give you a very solid idea about how to go about paper pulp painting like I've, I've never heard of it before I don't know drop me a comment below if you've heard of this or, or if you've done it before or if it's something that you do or even if you haven't heard of it before let me know and if you think that you'll try it like I'd be interested to you know um, chat with you about this you know we need to convene about this <laughs> um, and see but yeah I, w I am going to be doing a video to m a video like I said making one of these because I was in I'd be interested to see how one turns out like if I can do a nice one maybe for like my daughter's bedroom or something would be nice like a rainbow or something like that anyway um, I'm gonna get the clips for you the screenshots for you 
So here I am back with the screenshots. Um, so this first one shows the setup. So obviously the, in addition to what you get in the box, um, there's a pencil, spoon and scissors, which everyone has really. Um, so that's how you set up the mesh board. And then those blue sticks that I showed you, they're plastic and then the tray underneath to catch the water. And if you see there, that's the container with the nozzle and then that's the jar so that's got two, they've got two different colors in there that's the cookie cutter for the shape that's the foam board and that is the sculpting tool and then we have um, so this is just showing like within those within these lines is where you want to make your picture so in between the blue sticks is where you want to make your picture and then so this this here so once you've so basically to, to get these jars filled up so you take the paper pulp paint and um, paper that i showed you and you basically tear it up into small pieces but not don't don't do it with the scissors that's not what the scissors are for so you have to tear it up with your hands because the frayed edges will soak up the water making it easier to turn it into pulp basically and if you tear it and you need to tear it into like the smaller the pieces the better because then it will soak up the water and turn into the slurry so you want it like a slurry consistency and then you you put the you put your torn up pieces of paper into your jar or your container with the nozzle and then you add warm water the water has to be quite warm so, so that it can you know make turn the paper into the slurry and then once you've added the warm water you shake so then you'd put the lids the lids on and then just give them a good shake um, until the papers dissolved in the water and then you just repeat that for any other containers and colors that you want to use and then what you then then what you would do so like here the cookie cutters laid down and then the sponge shapes being cut out from the remember the grain fo foam board cut out your shapes but that's if you want to do use the, those tools you can freehand it um, you have to use the tools or the the foam board but you're basically using them as like templates to create a picture and then you'll use your your um, so the nozzle obviously you can you use the nozzle to like put use for any detail and then the color that you have in the jar you're going to use your spoon to spoon out the, sl the slurry onto the mesh so say like you're doing the background you just spoon that out of the jar and if you're doing like this you're going to use like your nozzle container to put in to squeeze into the, the slurry into like the mold or any other small areas or to fill in any gaps so it's just it's more for detail and then here in this picture here she's making a circle so she's squeezed that out of that into like a circle shape she's filled that in there and then you see she's spooning the mixture out to, to create the background there let's just get a little bit more inwards so you see her pictures building up now so she's just lifting off the cookie cutter there and that's that's how the picture's coming along so she's just removed that foam piece there which she's going to fill in so then now it's all filled in um so then this is i would screenshot this from the video as well so your slurry to water ratio so that you know roughly what ratios and then once you finished your design and you're going to dry it so you're going to literally use remember there was some mesh some loose mesh so you lay your mesh over the top use some paper towels which are not included so yes you need paper towels as well to, to, to soak up the water like pat it so you'll be patting it down to soak up the water excess water there and then um, that's so that's what it's like so that's what it looks like after she's finished patting it down and then you're going to turn it you're going to turn it over onto so you saw you know that rolled the roll of paper so you're going to lay one of those down you're going to lay your second mesh sheet down then you're going to lay out one of those um white bits of paper from that roll that was in the box then you're going to tip this upside down like so that's facing downwards 
and then pat the other side dry. So then you pat the other side dry and then you lift it, you lift it off and you leave it on there to dry. So you leave, need to leave it to dry probably overnight, I think they said, like overnight, 24 hours, should dry in 24 hours. And then you can frame it um, or you can do what you want really, it depends what, what you want to use it for. And so this is just another design there. They've got other videos about paper pulp painting, so you can just watch a few of them to get an idea on the different techniques and ideas that are going on. And that's that one finished. So that's her make that's that's them making it, and that's how it looks finished. So and then you see at the top we had the one of those in the box with a string, so that's you just clip it. So you basically just clip that on in between the two wooden framed um i don't know what you call them and then you you add the string in and then you can hang it up so yeah quite interesting let me know what you think below let me just do a little close-up of that let me know what you think below about this paper pulp painting if you think it's something you'd like to try does it sound like a good idea um if you did want to try it what sort of ideas do you have have for it but yeah, check it all out. Everything will be in the description below if you're curious and want to try anything out. And yeah, let me know. Also, don't forget to like this video because it really helps my channel. And also subscribe so that you can catch any further videos and check out any of my old videos as well. And I will see you in the next video. And hopefully I'll have that paper pulp painting video of me actually doing it at some point soon so look out for that and make sure you're subscribed so you get a notification when that comes up okay bye for now